what is up everyone on youtube it is in driver kg and today i have just a little guide video for you today on how to get to stage one stage two and stage three and i'm going to break it up into three different videos let's get into it this is number one <laughs> So I thought I would do this video because I did something similar to this a few years back when I first got the 2022, but now I'm in a 2023, a friend of mine has a 2024, and they're all just going to be about the same thing since there's only exterior changes to the Elantra N and Kona N, they're still 2022-2023 only, so let's get into it. So first, when you get tuned, Guess what? There is no more octane learning. The tune, any tune you get is going to disable the octane learning procedures, which can be really, really annoying for us in drivers. So what that means is these cars, when you first fill it up, it's only going to give you about 14 to 15 pounds of boost, limiting you to around 230 horsepower, 240 horsepower. So, and that's to the wheels. So what it means is octane learning after you put in your gas 93 or 91 then the ECU will read it after you do those procedures which is driving over uh, I believe 4500 rpms for five minutes some cars are a little different excuse me about that somebody's alarm went off but uh, after driving for a few minutes then it will pick up that you have higher octane and fully unlock the 17 to 20 psi that you should be getting giving you that 260 to 270 wheel horsepower number so that is really annoying for most of us that get these cars brand new and as you can see this car still has 4700 miles so a stage one tune is only going to be for those people who just want a little extra power and don't want to have to worry about the octane learning any longer you want to be ripping like this 60 hold it there it is go so what you need for stage one is nothing honestly you don't need any mods only thing i would recommend is I forgot to mention before we finish up, I forgot to mention the spark plugs. The spark plugs is recommended and I think is needed for any time you go to. So just add the spark plugs in there. They're the NGK uh, Range 9 or the HKS ML45 XL or something like that. I'll link it. A lower motor mount these things can cost anywhere from 20 bucks you can get these little polyurethane mounts take it out just unscrew and put the nice little mounts in or you can go ahead and get a full mount that comes uh, from TurboTech. that's where mine is or you can get the six one there are a few other places that sell it but you're looking around 200 to 300 bucks and you just I believe it's just three screws so I recommend that that will stop any wheel jutter you get from the extra power now, if you have a six speed manual, you will be experiencing a bunch of wheel jutter. That's just how it goes, especially in the colder climates. But when it's hot out, the tires will grip. Now, when it comes to stage one, like I said, it's just a remap. It will get you anywhere between 310 to 320 wheel horsepower with no modifications whatsoever. So it's really nice jump. That's about 40 to 50 horsepower difference and it feels incredible. You would notice it right away. Like right away, you're gonna be like, whoa, this is much better than how it should have came from the factory. Trust me, I've said it to many people and those people who have gotten tuned, they have been like, yo, this is absolutely amazing. So if you wanna do any mods for a stage one, like I said, I recommend the lower motor mount. And also, if you want just a little extra noise, the intakes that they have for sale, the open box will give you a nice as you get on the gas and it sounds amazing it sounds great i think everyone should have it just to enhance that extra that you're getting from the extra power so you want to hear it you want to feel it these are the things that you should keep in mind when doing a stage one now i'm talking about n75 stage one or six stage one 
I personally have N75. We've been with N75 for the last three years. This is a newer car. We've had N75 on an older car and their, their customer service and quality is just top notch. Um, but like I said, many, many times, do your research on other tuners that you would want to look into. But N75, I can recommend they are very, very safe. There are no safeties being turned off. So you don't have to worry about your car overheating or any of that stuff when you go with N75. So your car will always run as optimal as possible. And if there's any issues with it, it will save you. So with that out the way, the stage one, like I said, is anywhere between 310 and 320 with no modifications. And guess what? You can get a little bit more, but this is just for those people that just want just a tiny bit more out of your everyday driver or track goer, and you won't want to go crazy in mods. Now, like I said, there's some things that can enhance it. So that being said, that would be for another video, stage two and on. But for the DCT models, you don't have to worry about doing anything. For the manual guys like me, you don't have to worry about anything. Just a plug and play in the way you do it. If you get the spare ECU, you just simply unclip the ECU out the front and then put the new ECU in that has the tune on it. Turn it up. If you got the EK1, that is a little bit more in detail so you don't need a spare ECU for the EK1 so if you get the EK1 Pro light the mini all of these are really good devices to have you can log with it you can see real time what's going on with your car what the temperatures are at what kind of fuel trims you're getting what your AFRs are it is just an awesome tool to have and with that you plug it in you do a boot loop all that other stuff and they will walk you through it it's pretty easy and simple the whole process i think for the first time takes like 10 minutes 20 minutes if that and basically it just learns your car so you're able to put tunes on it on the go meaning you can if you want to change up your tune you plug your ek1 in and guess what you can just tune it right there it takes two minutes you press what tune you go you want and write ecu and it will just write it two minutes times bam you'll be on the road you can unplug it and keep it going or you can keep it plugged in and see what your times are and see what's going on with your car but like i said no modification that's the beautiful thing and you get a 50 horsepower difference with nothing so that's just your bare bones bare minimum i do recommend this to everyone even if you're not someone that goes out racing racing the car or whatever you don't have to this is just a nice little boost in power that i think the car should have came from and it's super fun you do feel it, it does put your head back a little bit more because stock you feel like the car is so good but you can see that 20 psi all the time and it will just drop down i believe to like 18 on the normal but it's a difference in timing, difference in uh, other things that they change in there, but it is excellent. I highly recommend it. I think it is one of the best things you can do for your Elantra and Okuna in. So with that being said, I have, there is a friend of mine, shout out to you, Daryl. He's about to do his stage two, and we're gonna get into that next video explaining everything you need for stage two. So look out for that. That's gonna be coming out in the next two days. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. It is ndriverkg on there too. Uh, I answer a lot of you guys' questions on the daily, so don't be afraid to ask. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and try and answer the question as best as possible. If you're interested in an N75 tune, I will be true soon trying to work with Daniel to try and get you guys a discount on the tunes. Um, and then um, we can see where we go from there. You just talk to them, let them know your goals, what you got for your car, and what your plans are of your next mods. And he will work with you and explain everything to you as he did to me. Very nice guy, very understanding. And I think he knows these cars very well. So without further ado, thank you for watching and let's get into the next video. See you guys.